passion is meeting paradise all weekend long. The first annual Key West Film Festival is taking place right now. This four-day film celebration will be showcasing films that excel in excellent storytelling and they capture the essence of what Key West is all about. Beauty, creativity, sustainability, and diversity. Brooke, thank you for being here with me on the show today. Thank you for having me. All right, Brooke, let's start by talking about why you chose Key West as the location. Sure. So uh, Key West is a community I've visited um, for more than 20 years. Um, some of it vacationing, but I've always kind of uh, I've been drawn to the, the artistic community here um, and how people, you know, some of them come uh, running away from things and, and other people come kind of trying to, to pursue a dream. So I, I've, um, I, I've really, um, in the years that I visited, getting to know some of the, the community here, um, appreciate the, the uh, it's, a lot of it, I guess, is on the literary side. Um, but there are all kinds of artists um, who come to Key West to kind of create a vision and, and create a dream. So it also seemed like, the, given the fact that there, there is so much art and such a commitment to it, um, it seemed a strange community to not actually have a film festival, mm -hmm. given the amount of film festivals that are um, you know, in towns all across the United States and, and really all over the world. So it just seemed like a great staging ground to, to stage an event um, where, where film is kind of the, the foundation. Um, but obviously the backdrop of Key West and, and the, the landscape and the setting is, is, um, is idyllic as well. So. Mm -hmm. What's the response been, Brooke, when you decided to start this? Um, the response has been, has been kind of, a, I think, one of the inspirational things to me. Um, I have a number of, the, one of the ways that I got involved in it in the first place is um, I have a friend who's, who's produced a, a, and directed a feature film. Um, some other film uh, friends who are screenwriters, and um, and they've all kind of really been extremely supportive in, in different ways of, of the effort and kind of helping bring in um, all kinds of things associated with with the event itself, from um, the, the staging of the, the the actual events surrounding the festival to to the movies themselves, to the, the showcasing of the films in, in theaters. So um, the the support that I've had from kind of the people that, that I'm uh, associated with has been phenomenal. Mm -hmm. um, I think the next step here is, is really kind of um, em embracing the, the community and, and, and getting them on board with um, the fact that, that what we're trying to, to accomplish is, is really kind of of great benefit to the community mm -hmm. um, because we are committed to, to Key West itself um, and really putting on something and showcasing something that, that the people can be proud of. Mm -hmm. I think it's wonderful it's here and I hope you continue doing it each year. Let's talk though first about this year's lineup. Brooke. Okay, great. Um, so we're we're featuring in all about uh, I want to say between 30 and 35 films. Um, one of the uh, the main uh, tracks that we've committed to is is uh, a piece specifically for Florida filmmakers. So um, of our two uh, showcased films uh, on on both Thursday and Friday nights, um, we're showing films made by by Florida filmmakers. Uh, the first is uh, one by Kat Cora, who uh, actually grew up in Key Largo. Mm -hmm. um, I believe it's either her second or third film. Um, and then another is a, uh, a film by uh, two South Florida filmmakers uh, called Journey to Planet X. Mm -hmm. um, so those are definitely um, two of the films that I am personally excited about seeing. Mm -hmm. um, but another of our tracks, we actually have a, a, we had a short competition, and there was a winner of that shorts competition. Uh, and we'll be sh showing a number of short features as well. Um, on, uh, we have actually had two showings of, of Dustin Hoffman's first um, directorial movie. So he, he directed it, and actually um, uh, Maggie Smith, who's a, a famous uh, English actress, is in it as well. And, and I'm, uh, I've heard kind of through the grapevine that she's, she's getting some Oscar buzz on, on the movie as well. So, wow. so that's exciting. Um, but there are lots of movies that we, we try to, to keep the lineup uh, diversified. So there's kind of something that appeals to everyone, mm -hmm. um, you know, asking kind of sometimes to pick your favorite movies like asking to pick your favorite child. Mm -hmm. um, so, it's hard. Uh, yeah, yeah, it is. So so we kind of like, you know, like I guess children themselves, we, we have kind of something for everybody and, mm -hmm. you know, there's, there's, a, there's a good deal of diversity in the lineup. Okay, so you just kind of chose these films then based on diversity. Yeah, we actually have a great programming director who has experience with a number of festivals. Um, I feel really strongly that he did, he did a tremendous job um, and, and he did a good job with, with making sure that, that, you know, we we have films of, of that kind of um, fall into to certain categories, mm -hmm. I would say, um, but there's there's not too much so that, that kind of we pigeonhole ourselves into, into any one category. Mm -hmm. What would you say is your main goal with the film festival down here, Brooke? 
I think uh, the main goal is definitely to create, um, you know, not just a, a film festival that we're proud of, but also just the, the human experience of it. So um, producing an event that kind of combines um, the best of, of film with um, the best in hospitality and, and really kind of um, showing off Key West, um, its best side. So people that I know or that are visiting the festival, I think some of them have been to Key West before, and, and my hope is that you know, this gives them kind of an, an extra special sort of Key West experience. Mm -hmm. And then people who've not been here before, um, having this, uh, mm -hmm. being uh, visiting Key West when the film festival is going on, I'm kind of hoping that that's Key West at its best. So mm -hmm. I think that just the whole, uh, the human experience of, of kind of attending an event like this. Mm -hmm. I've been to Toronto and some other festivals, and just um, it's, it's just, um, it, it gives you a great feeling about about film itself, mm -hmm. and also you get kind of swept up in, in the city in the backdrop where um, it takes place. So mm -hmm. I, I think that's a, a great thing for us, and it's a great thing for Key West. Yes, hopefully everybody who comes will keep wanting to come back for more and exactly. more. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Well, that's I think a big part of things is, is hopefully you know people um, it sticks mm -hmm. after the first time, and, and people do want to make this a, a part of their you know annual planning. Right. And now we're running out of time. Where are the films showing all weekend, Brooke? The films are showing at the, at the Tropic Theater, mm -hmm. um, which is uh, a big part of how I got uh, involved in doing the film festival in the first place. So they're a great host theater. Mm -hmm. And then the, uh, the famous San Carlos, which is on Duval Street, um, will be showing our larger films of, of that will seat more than 300 people in each of those. So Wonderful. those are our two venues for this year, and we're, we're very excited about both. Two beautiful locations, and if you want any more information on the film festival, check out the website you see on the bottom of the screen. You can also give the number a phone call. Brooke, thank you for being here, and I hope this weekend is a huge success for you. Thanks so much for having me. I'll be right back after these messages. Stay with me.